Hello Pampered Peeps! How is everybody doing? I hope this video finds you all very, very well and ready to cook. I am super, super excited about this video today because I'm going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite, favorite tools Pampered Chef has ever put out, and that is Pampered Chef's new Quick Cooker. This guy, I tell you, I use it all, all the time. And if you're wondering, what is what exactly is a quick cooker? Um, this is an electric pressure cooker. And ever since its release in September of 2018, it has quickly risen to Pampered Chef's customer number one recommended or number one item. Um, it is the biggest and the best small appliance you can ever make an investment in for your kitchen. If you already have one of these, congratulations on getting one of the um, the best quick cookers or best pressure electric pressure cookers on the market right now. Um, and this video is being recorded in um, April of 2019, so uh, <laughs> that tells you anything. But I just wanted to go over a few things regarding this for those of you who have uh, the quick cooker and maybe just need a little bit of insight or maybe you've been a little nervous to use it. Um, and then I also wanted to go over it because if anybody is interested in knowing more about pressure cooking in general and what it can do for you and your lifestyle. Uh, so just starting out, I'm going to kind of go over the introduction to the quick cooker, the parts, how to clean it, and then I'm and the safety features, and then I'm going to give you some getting started uh, quick tips and conversion recipe conversion ideas, that kind of thing. It's going to be very very easy, very quick. Um, so first and foremost, something that you don't see when you just look at it is all the safety features that it actually has with it. Pampered Chef spent two years researching and developing this appliance, this small appliance. Um, and a lot of that was with customers directly finding out what their concerns about, about pressure cooking was. And so they took all of those concerns and they fixed them, <laughs> which was one of my biggest, biggest reasons for getting this um, and starting with pressure cooking. Pressure cooking is so much faster, um, as most of you know. It is a great way. Pressure cooking is not a new way of cooking. It's been around for years and years, uh, but it's become much safer with the advent of technology and um, just different research. So this is not your mother's or even your grandmother's pressure cooker. Um, one of my favorite, favorite safety features about this is the double wall construction that is um, that they designed. And that means that it has a cool to touch body. So anywhere while this is under pressure and it's heating, you can touch this all over and it's not gonna scorch or burn you. Or if you have small children, which I do, running around your house, if they touch it, they're not gonna burn their hands. If a plastic bag lays against it, uh, you know, I have a very small galley kitchen, which is why I have to record my videos up this way instead of the other way. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a great space saver for small kitchens. Um, in the summer months, this is going to be a huge lifesaver because we don't have air conditioning in our house. So it's going to be a phenomenal value. I'm not going to have to turn my oven on to cook a great filling meal. Um, so that's my favorite safety feature about this is the double wall construction and the, the cool to touch body. The other great safety feature that I love is the fact that the steam release valve is away from the steam release button. So now you don't have to worry about scorching yourself when you release the pressure, which was a concern amongst consumers regarding other pressure cookers that they had seen on the market. People were scorching themselves and actually getting seriously burned from the placement of the steam release valve. Um, so that was something that Pampered Chef made sure to address. And you can see that right here, hopefully you can see that, 
right here is the steam release button and back here is the valve. So when I press this, the steam actually shoots away from me. If I'm standing at the front of it, facing the front of it, the steam will shoot away from me. Obviously I would be in the direct path of it at this angle, but this isn't how I use it. <laughs> um, it's turned this way short, purely to show you um, how it functions and go over its things. So why don't we just start from the top and work our way down? Since most of the safety features that I'm about to talk to you about are in the lid, we'll start with the lid. Um, and I already talked to you about the steam release valve, but I'll just kind of show you here so you can see. It has this button here, and whenever it's flush, that means that this, the steam release valve is down and it can build pressure. If the button is pushed and it sits, it's kind of down inside the handle, that means that this valve is open and it won't be able to build pressure. It will release the pressure. Um, so definitely every time you use it, before you click on any buttons or set anything, make sure that this button is sitting flush with the handle. And the other important thing to remember, there's a little steam icon right here on the bottom of the steam release valve. And that should be facing towards the front of the unit to ensure that it's sitting in there properly and it can build pressure. Because if it's sitting in there crooked, then steam will escape and it will not build pressure. So that's something to keep an eye on. The other great thing is that there's no more, you know, gauges to watch to see what the pressure level is or if it's come under pressure yet. There, you don't have to adjust the temperature to keep the pressure at a certain level. It's automatic. But when it comes under pressure, the way that you know it's under pressure is with the pressure indicator knob. And that is a, this little red knob that sits down inside the lid. And when it comes under pressure, it just pops up. So then you can see from a distance that that is under pressure and you'll know, okay, it's under pressure now. So you don't have to read any gauges. Um, one of the other safety features about this lid is as soon as that little knob comes up and it's under pressure, there is a knob, this little knob here inside actually goes underneath of this, the lip on this, um, this part of the quick cooker here of the base and that locks it in place. So you cannot remove this lid. You cannot wiggle it. You cannot move it at all when it is under pressure. Okay. So that's a, another great thing. This silicone ring around here that sits nicely. It just sits right in there around this metal ring here. And that's what gives you your seal for your lid, obviously. You can take it out. It is dishwasher safe. We recommend that you put it in the dishwasher every couple of uses. Um, if Sometimes the silicone can take on the smell of whatever you're cooking, especially if it's like tacos or something really savory. Um, but you can put a, a cup of water um, and half a cup of lemon juice in here and just run it through a custom, you know, five minute cycle and that will actually refresh this and give it a good cleaning in here. So that's a good, a little tip for you. If this starts to smell a little funky, you can run it through the dishwasher, no problem. Or you can just put a cup of water and a half a cup of lemon juice in here and run it on a five minute custom, uh, custom setting and it'll, it'll get that smell right out. Um, so this, like I said, it comes, comes out real easy, just slides in there and you just push it around so that it is sitting in there flush. Because if it's sitting up even just a tiny, tiny bit, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the groove right here, that metal has to sit inside the groove. Otherwise, you're going to leak steam out from between the lid and the base and you're not going to build any pressure and your food could possibly burn. Um, when you have, if you have any food splatter up in through here, or occasionally you might need to clean out the steam release valve, it just pulls out. So you just pull out the steam release valve, you run water down in through there, clean that out good. You wanna run water down in through here and clean that out really good. And the water will come out the steam release valve. This does not come off. So if this comes off for any reason, we need to call Pamper Chef and get you a replacement because that's not supposed to happen. But you can run water through that to get it good and cleaned out because if your steam release valve becomes clogged with 
any type of, you know, food particles or anything like that, your steam won't release evenly and it'll just spit. So if you have what seems to be water coming up out of there, if it's spitting rather than flowing nicely, then you might need to run this through under some hot water and just clean that out. Um, the pressure indicator knob comes out as well. So the way you take that off is you turn it over, put your finger underneath on top of the knob like this, just so it doesn't fall out and go all crazy. And then this little silicone hat, as I like to call it, because it looks like a little hat, you just pull that off. See, just pull that off. You can rinse that off. And then the knob will just fall out like that. So you can see, this is how long the knob is itself. And then when you're ready to put it back in, you just slide it back up, hold it in there with your finger underneath like that and you're gonna put the hat back on. And now you're ready to go. Okay, and once you're done cleaning out the steam release valve, there is a knob. You see the notch right there? That same notch is on the underside right there on this. So you just line that up, push it in, and you're good to go. Your lid is now ready for sealing. Um, this has a six quart stainless steel bowl with it. It has measure markings inside. It has half, half full and two thirds full. You never want to fill past the two thirds full marking because then you're not going to build proper pressure and you could possibly leak things. Um, this is dishwasher safe, so you can put this in the dishwasher. If you end up using your pressure cooker as much as I do, I recommend that you purchase a separate one of these so you have an extra one because sometimes I have leftovers and then I, you know, if we don't eat all of them or maybe I have five in my family, so sometimes there's not enough of the leftovers to feed us all again, but I don't want that to go to waste. So I, and I want to make something else to go with it. So, um, it's nice to have two of these sometimes. So that just sits down inside here. The heating element is down inside. You always want to make sure that you do not get food or anything down in here. This is the heating element. And this, this pressure pressurizes it. This is what the, um, this is what kind of, you get an idea of, uh, it'll help it to come to pressure. So it's not going to be able to come to pressure unless this little thing is pushing down. That's why it's so important to have that in there. <laughs> so now that we've gone over the lid and the pot, let's talk about, we talked about the cool to touch um, double wall construction. One of the other safety features that they thought of was how you're gonna carry this, how you're gonna move it around in your kitchen if you need to. And they decided that rather than having to carry it by the lid, which is extremely unsafe, especially if it has hot food in it, they decided to put the handles in the base. So now you have full control and they're, they're streamlined right in the base there. And since it's cool to touch body, you don't have to worry about burning your fingers when you need to move this out of your way for any reason while it's under pressure. Um, so that's one of my other favorite features about this guy. So now that we've gone over that, let's go over the display features really quickly so you can get an idea. It sings to you like that every time you put the lid on or take it off. So it's just a nice little, okay. Um, so right off the bat, you can see we have this gorgeous blue lit up digital display. And this little locking mechanism or locking indicate here just means that the lid is in the locking position. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's locked. It just means that it's shut. When you open it, it means that it's open. Okay. A lot of people have been getting confused by that and saying, why well, it says it's locked, but it's really not. But if you turn it and it says it's locked, you can't lift the lid off. That's what that means. So this has 16 different functions on it, 16 different settings. You can sear, steam, slow cook. So yes, you can slow cook with this. You can proof bread with it. And at the time of its uh, release, that was a function that was um, very specific, exclusive to the quick cooker. You could not, no other pressure cooker at that time had a proof 
setting on it. Um, but you can proof bread in here, chicken or poultry, beef, pork, fish or seafood, soup or stock, white rice, brown rice, whole grains, beans, stew or chili, and dessert. Yes, it has a dessert function on it, people. And I'm going to tell you, if you've never made a homemade cheesecake, make it in this. And you can with the springform pan that is part of the accessory set that comes that you can get for this bad boy. Um, it is delicious. <laughs> Um, so you just turn the dial and whatever function you want comes up and you'll notice, let's say for instance, I want to do chicken and poultry. So if I'm going to do three to five or three to six pounds of chicken breast, it'll automatically have the pressure setting and the time. Now you can increase or decrease the time based on how much you how, you know, whatever poundage or weight of um, food you have in here, it's, it'll adjust automatically. And the way you do that, if you have less than three pounds of chicken, you would hit the time button. And then these plus and minus symbols over here buttons, you would just decrease the time or increase the time depending on your weight that you have in there of meat. Um, if you want to decrease the pressure or something, you can press the pressure button and then, oops, okay. Let's see, you're supposed to be able to press the pressure button. Oops. Go back to chicken and poultry. Maybe it won't, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. On, a, on these settings, on the presets, you can't adjust the pressure setting. If you're on a custom setting, if you hit custom, then pressure, you can decrease the amount of pressure that is used. Um, and this also comes with a cooking, a quick cooker cooking guide. So inside the cooking guide, you're going to see all kinds of things and suggestions. It tells you what foods to cook. Um, let me get that real quick. I didn't even think to grab it before I started this video, but um, so this is the quick cook, quick cooker cooking guide. Say that three times fast. And you can see mine's well used. I use it a lot. I call this the, the Bible. This is my cooker Bible. And it has three easy ways to get started as soon as you open it up. So you can do beans without soaking, um, easy hard boiled eggs, which my family eats a lot of hard boiled eggs. So this thing was in fantastic. And then um, the first recipe to try is simple salsa chicken. Literally, guys, this is done in like six minutes. I'm not kidding. Um, it's two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, your favorite taco seasoning, which is you only need two tablespoons of that, and um, chunky salsa. It's three, it's three ingredients. You throw it all in here. You set it to chicken. And then if you go over here to the meat section meat and poultry, and you look up boneless chicken breasts, two to four pounds, six to 10 minutes from fresh, or eight to 12 minutes from frozen. So two pounds for, of chicken for the quick salsa, the simple salsa recipe, or what was it, simple? Yeah, simple salsa chicken, the two pounds of that chicken will only take six minutes to cook. Six minutes for two pounds of chicken breasts, and you have a fresh Fiesta right there in your quick cooker. So again, and it also has full picture. There's your cheesecake, full pictured recipes, along with um, access to even more recipes on pamperedchef.com forward slash biz slash Jess Hardy. Um, check that out. So comment down below what your favorite thing so far about the quick cooker has been. Um, I would love to hear what, if it's the safety features, if it is the fact that you can cook food 70% faster than traditional cooking methods, uh, or that it's a slow cooker and a quick cooker in one. So that's a fantastic value. Um, but that is how you get started with this. Check out, if you have this guy, you, you have your cooking guide, start small, easy recipes. Um, you can also convert other recipes. So if you have a slow cooker recipe that you want to make quick, you can also do that. And I have a PDF that I will be happy to send to you so you can print it out and keep 
with your quick cooker guide. Um, it also comes with a instruction manual and it has a conversion guide in there as well that will tell you, um, you know, when you're converting from slow cooker to quick cooker. So if you're doing about eight hours in a slow cooker, it'll only take you probably two hours in the quick cooker. So, um, but it depends on, again, how much food you're, you're trying to cook, um, what cut of meat you're cooking, if you're even cooking meat, just depends on what it is you're cooking. So those guides are important and you want to pay attention to them. But here's the best thing that comes with your quick cooker. And that is me. You get a personalized product specialist that comes with this. So if you ever have any questions, concerns, or problems, all you have to do is send me a quick message or give me a buzz. Find me on Facebook, send me a message, um, and let me know, and I will be happy to help you with any of your questions or concerns. Or maybe you would just love to have a new recipe for it. I can help you with that as well. So that's one of the best and biggest values that Pampered Chef offers with their pressure cooker versus other pressure cookers on the market is the product specialist that comes with every quick cooker. So I hope I have covered everything that you could possibly imagine with this to get started and that I've taken away some of your fears or concerns. But if not, like I said, just comment down below with your questions. I'll answer them as soon as I'm able to. Um, and then just if it's really urgent, send me a, a message on Facebook and I do try to respond to those right away. So find me at Quick Cooking on Facebook or Pampered Chef with Jess is my Facebook business page name. You can find me there and send me a personal message. I would love to connect with all of you and, um, and help you out in any way. So I look forward to the next video. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Happy cooking.